Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And one of my subscribers sent me a video, and I've done a video like this. This is an old English A. And if you control D and make a duplicate, and then hold down the control button and move it over, and then have your nudge factor set pretty low, or take the hold down the control key and make it equal, and then do the same thing, control D, and then mirror it this way or flip it this way and maybe even nudge it up just a little bit. And then if you take this item, and if you left click, right click, and also go to object and convert it to a curve so it'll weld because text won't weld, you, you've got that shape. Let's hit P, put it in the center of the page, which I like to do, but it doesn't really matter in this case. You're gonna get some pretty interesting shapes. Let's make a duplicate of this and move it over and we'll rotate it different ways. This one, we're just gonna control D and rotate it 90 degrees. And then when you take this, and since it's already curved, you can weld it again, and you get that shape. That would make a pretty neat shape or an earring. Maybe you can fill this in. But on this one, let's take it and rotate it, control D and rotate it 45 degrees. And then again, I don't know if I need to do it one more time. We'll do it 45 degrees again and hit weld. I mean, look at the difference in the shapes and things you can come up with. And you could use any letter, any font. Uh, let's use R. No matter of fact, let's make it a capital R. And let's, let's see what it looks like in Old English. Sometimes you have to take your pick tool back when you're doing this. That'll look pretty cool. Now, when I've done videos on this like this before, I've always done this. I would just take it, put it in the center of the page, which really doesn't matter. Bring down an indexing line and hit P, put it in the center of the page. P, put it in the center of the page. And that doesn't really matter, but then take this loop right here and let's move that loop to the center of the page. And then let's control D and rotate it. Double click on your pick tool. Doesn't look like it is, and it might not be, but it is. And then let's just see what it looks like rotated. Let's go uh, 60 degrees. Need something divisible by 360 and then control D again and rotate it 120 degrees. Control D, control D, control D. It is a font, so it will not weld, but if you go up to object and convert it to a, well, a, a curve, and then it's always a good idea to left click, right click before you weld it. And that's a pretty unique shape if we fill it in with black. It would be relatively strong. I mean, you've almost got a pinwheel going through the middle. I would possibly, you know, before you uh, do anything with it, maybe take Let's just delete that one, and, and this is what I would do to just make it, if you were gonna make an earring out of this, let's left click, right click. It's already, a, it's still an R because I backed up, so I need to convert it to a curve. And then we can add to this, and let's take a ellipse and put it right there. And then let's weld that with the weld tool, and now you have a completely different look. Control D and make a duplicate. Move the center rotation to the center. Rotate it at 60 degrees. Control D, Control D, Control D. And then look what you've got. You've got a, if you were gonna use this for an earring, you'd have a lot stronger and not a sharp point right there. And you could even, you know, go back and make this one even bigger to put your hole for your earring through or any design. Anyway, uh, thank that viewer for sending that me that and hope that helped. Thank you for watching.